We made it to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, you sons of bitches. I see y'all watching. Let me know what you like to see down in the description, in the comments, wherever. I will get to it. Um, Staunch Gang, it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. Some of you guys have been there from the very beginning when I, well, I had barely, I was dying to get 100 subscribers. So 5,000 means a lot to me. Hopefully we can r rack those views up and get the channel growing and growing and just keep it coming. Let me know again what you guys want to see, what you guys want to watch, and I will get to it. Staunch Gang, you mean the world to me, baby. Love ya. <laughs>
the, the movie is still a lot of fun when it needs to be. Like, it's pretty funny, too. I mean, if the film proves one thing, it's that Corey's acting chops are still there. He just needs the right script, you know. And Corey talks about the film in his book, Choreography, which I highly recommend, and states how challenging and exciting it was to film, and that he felt it was his best work to date, and he still does. And also, kind of, you know, how disappointed he was that nobody really saw it in the States. Which was basically out of his hands, although it did have a few U.S. screenings back when. Another interesting factoid here is on the Two Corys TV show, when it was Corey Haim's birthday, Corey Feldman received a poster for this. It was, it was a pretty interesting little scene. Check it out. It's the poster for my new movie, dude. Birthday. The birthday. Check it out, dude. So it just opened in Spain. That's this so This guy cool. was great. Speaking of birthdays, though, I believe it's somebody else's birthday. He's mad. Now, to try to describe this film to you without spoiling it is basically impossible. I'll say that the film plays out like an epic take on a mix of four rooms with some Twin Peaks and definitely some Rosemary's Baby in there with a dash of Hollywood slapstick pizzazz. Like, it's unavoidable. It's such a fun movie. It's equal parts thriller, horror, Comedy, take your pick, and it all leads up to one hell of a finale, seriously. I don't want to give away too much here. The film really is more than meets the eye, I'll say that. And it's something I think will only be more and more appreciated as the years go by, if you can manage to track it down, that is. And it is trackable, like, it's doable. You can find it if you look hard enough. I rewatch this flick at least once a year. And God damn it, thank Jeebus for Jordan Peele. I recommend the film often, uh, but I realize, too, that it's not, like, streaming anywhere right now or whatever. So maybe if we all hit up the right people, they'll give it the proper Blu-ray release that it deserves. Um, I've shown it on the channel back in the early days. I did a live stream where we just watched the movie, and a few of you guys got to see it, so that was cool. I, it's just such a great film, and I think now that, you know, Jordan and um, Corey's bromance, if you will, is kind of getting bigger and bigger. Like, they just did a whole weekend showing the film um out in new york so i think like good things are gonna happen i really really hope that feldman has a feldman renaissance it's kind of happening now all these old 90s actors you know look at brendan frazier right now devin sawa is having a resurgence you know polly has been out there doing his thing but even now there's all these talks to classic poly movies now is the time for the 90s kind of resurgence we already had the 80s thing they beat it over the head with stranger things and whatnot so now let's get it let's get it going right Feldman um, is such a great actor, such a great performer. If he were in the right movie again, I mean, it would all work fantastically. Now, I heard Corey say um, when I was hanging out there in Hollywood, I heard him say, you know, I don't know if I ever make uh, another studio feature again because what I do is music now. I, he considers himself to be a full-time musician these days, and rightfully so. But I, I think... Corey is just waiting for that right script, seriously. And he's been popping up in little little projects here and there. But I think uh, another studio feature is is right up his alley. It's coming. I, I really do feel that much. I mean, if Richard Donner had as much to say positively about Corey, if, if you get people like Joe Dante and everyone that's stuck by him all this time, I mean, it, it's easy. I, I understand it may be easy to just write Corey off as a, a whatever, whatever, whatever. But what other child actors are doing what he's doing? What other child actors uh, grew up to have this crazy of a career, this entertaining of a career, to be this artistic late, this late in life, and to have this happening with Jordan Peele? Everyone knows I'm a big Corey Feldman fan. I mean, obviously, I edited this documentary. Corey Feldman, artist, the man behind the love, available right now in Corey Feldman's box set. I, obviously, I'm a huge fan, but I can objectively say any fan of film, will love the birthday and change their mind about Corey's acting talents if you aren't already hip to it. What other obscure Corey Feldman movies should I check out? Now, I mean, or I've seen them all. Which one should I review? I recently got a hold of Seance, which is the one Corey Feldman movie I have not seen yet. So I will be watching and reviewing that. Would you guys like to watch that along with me? Let me know in the comments. Maybe next week we'll do that. And that all being said, also check out my award-winning documentary for free next after this video. I'll link it right there. Forever, the untold story of Rock and Roll High School Forever, the far superior sequel to Rock and Roll High School, this time 
with Corey Feldman and his rock and roll band. Until next time, Feld fam, thanks for joining me. If you're a hater, go eat shit. And catch me here soon, same Corey time, same Corey channel. And get Feldman's box set right now, link in description. Love you guys.